are the greatest challenges that organisations face in retaining their best talent in 2016? It's an ongoing challenge and definitely as we look forward it will continue to be so. I think for me there are probably two or three things we need to think about. Personally, retaining talent isn't just about the high performing people who are destined for the top. I think the key thing is, have you identified those business critical roles which are of absolute importance to the organisation and probably drive, drive the most profit and drive the most income to your organisation? I think we need to get away from it just being the high powered executives. It's about business critical roles. Secondly, I think we need to think about the recognition channels that we have within an organisation. Yes, I understand that reward's important and it will no doubt be a challenge if we, as we look forward. However, we need to think more about the recognition. Not everybody wants and will strive for increased salary. They know that sometimes they can't get it. But having this open and honest dialogue with employees is really important. It ensures that there's fairness and transparency in what is happening. It may be that we have to have e-thanks. It may be that we have online communities. It's about sharing success and ensuring that the employees feel valued and appreciated. That for me is really important from a recognition point of view. And I think thirdly, we need to think about how do we ensure that every employee has an opportunity to grow and improve. We've got flatter organizations, it means less opportunities. That doesn't mean it's about new jobs. It may be about different tasks within new jobs. It could be within old jobs doing different tasks. But we need to get creative. We need to think differently about how we provide learning and development opportunities. And I think a mixture of those three things should definitely help organisations to try and deal with that challenge as we look forward.